was it was kind of the wild, wild west. Eric Nelson recalls the days when drug addicts and criminals filled the motel across the street from his Linwood car dealership. Towards the end, they had some shootings out front on the sidewalk. Snohomish County ended up buying that motel and another with plans to turn them into low barrier housing for homeless people. But when they got inside, they were so contaminated with meth and fentanyl, those plans were put on pause indefinitely. Late last year, more than 60 people living and working at Everett's Claire's Place supportive housing complex were forced to evacuate because of meth and fentanyl contamination there. Four months later, it remains closed. It's being used as a cautionary tale for Snohomish County. I view this as a very common sense proposal. Snohomish County Council Member Nate Nehring is proposing an ordinance that would require regular testing for toxic drugs in any county-owned homeless housing. Tests would be conducted in common areas only at least once per year, perhaps up to once per month. Nehring says his ordinance is about keeping people safe. When we have situations where people are, um, you know, abusing drugs in these facilities and causing contamination, it causes significant health and safety impacts to those who are working to get clean and to the staff who are trying to work with these folks. It's unclear what would happen to someone caught using drugs during an inspection. Low barrier housing means people do not have to be sober to live there. Some worry if a person is thrown out, they could spiral deeper into addiction, even death. We want them to get clean and sober and become productive members of society because it's what's happening now just isn't working. So Eric, the County Council and the Executive, where do they sit on this? Uh, Joyce, I reached out to the Snohomish County Council President and she said that she couldn't com comment on this just yet because she hadn't actually read the entire proposal. I did, however, speak to the Office of County Executive Dave Summers. They said he is on board with this. Now uh, all that remains to be seen is if the Council falls in line. Joyce. Eric Wilkinson, thanks. Reporting from Linwood tonight.